Hi, so in this video we are going to learn about the counting principles and the principles which we are going to learn are the rules of sum and product. You might have noticed that when we are calculating the number of possibilities, sometimes we add and sometimes we multiply. So the rule behind the product and multiplication is actually when we have two tasks which are to be performed in exclusion, that means you perform either the one task or the another task, then you actually add the possibilities of both the tasks and if you have two or more tasks which are to be performed one after another and all of them are supposed to be performed then you actually multiply the possibilities of the outcomes of each performance right of each task so this is the golden rule the rule is add when you have or between two or more tasks so if you have two or more tasks and only one of them is supposed to be performed then you actually add all the possible outcomes of each task and that becomes the total number of possibilities for that particular group of tasks, right? But if you have two or more tasks which are to be performed simultaneously or one after another and each task has to be performed, then you multiply the possibilities or the possible outcomes of each task to find the final outcome, right? Suppose if you have a class of students where there are 18 girls and suppose you have 15 boys, then an event going on for which you need a child or a student, then how many ways you can select that student? You have two choices. Either you can select a girl or you can select a boy, right? If only one student is to be selected, you can select either a girl or a boy. For girls, you have 18 choices. And for selecting a boy, you have 15 choices, right? That means for selecting a child, you actually have 18 plus 15, 33 choices. There are 33 choices for selecting one child, right? Here, the selection are actually in R. If you select a girl, you are not selecting a boy and if you select a boy you are not selecting a girl right so the task of selecting a student is actually the task of selecting a girl or the task of selecting a boy right in this case there are total 18 ways in which you can select a girl and there are total 15 ways in which you can select a boy so that means there are total 18 plus 15 that is 33 ways in which you can select a child but Suppose if there is a performance where you need one boy and one girl, then how many total possible pairs or the choices you have? If you are selecting a girl, you actually have total 18 choices. There are total 18 choices to select a girl, right? And for each girl you select, you actually have total 15 choices of boys. Right? For each girl you select, suppose if you select this girl, again you have 15 choices of boys. Right? And if you select this girl, again you have total 15 choices of boys. Then how many total choices do you have? You actually have 18 choices for girls and for each girl you have 15 choices of boys. That means total number of choices in this case are actually 18 multiplied by 15. That is 15 eights are 120. 0, 12 are 15, 1 is 15 plus 12 is 27. You have total 270 choices for the selection of selecting a boy and a girl, right? So here you are actually multiplying. So these are the two examples which I have derived from the same set of data. So this was the rule of AND and OR or the rule of SUM and PRODUCT and if you want I can take one more example. So let me erase this. Suppose you have a bag in which you have 5 purple balls, 4 green balls and 6 red balls, right? And you want to take out only one ball. So how many choices do you have now? As far as we are talking about one ball, you can either select a purple ball or you can select a green ball or you can select a red ball. For purple ball, you have total five choices. 
For green ball, you have total four choices and for red ball, you have total six choices. And since there is an or in between, you are supposed to add. So now actually you have total 15 choices, right? So when you are selecting a ball, you have 15 choices to select a ball, right? This is very simple. You can select any ball, no restriction on the color. If you select a purple ball, you have five choices. If you select a green ball, you have four choices and if you select a red ball you have total six choices right that means to select a ball you actually have total 15 choices right but if I ask you to select one purple and one red ball how many choices do you have now for purple ball you actually have five choices and for red ball you actually have six choices right that means when you select a purple ball you actually have total five choices right you can select any one of the purple balls but after selecting the purple ball when you select red ball here you have six choices for each selection of purple ball right here also you can select total six red balls any one out of these six red balls right so any purple ball you select for each selection of purple ball you have total six choices for the red balls right that means if I count all these choices you have total 5 multiplied by 6 that is 30 choices if you want to select one purple and one red ball so and actually transforms into multiplication right here we have 5 multiplied by 6 that is 30 choices for selecting one purple ball and one red ball and after this if you want to select one green ball also then for each of these 30 choices you again have four more choices and in that case you have to multiply this 30 by 4 and then you will have total 120 choices for selecting one purple one green and one red ball so this was the rule of product and sum and it is actually necessary to know when we learn about the probability right so keep watching these videos on counting and then again we'll be going back to probability after we learn all the counting techniques right so keep watching math math and bye bye till then